Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today it's the 1955 Jefferson 5 cents coin from the United States. You see Jefferson here facing to the left and God we trust in front of him, Liberty behind him, the star there, and then the 1955. This is the Philadelphia coin. This is the Denver coin over here on the right with the D-mint mark on the back. And this is the proof coin, which is the shiny coin made at Philadelphia for the proof sets. And that also will have no mint mark on the back. So let's take a look at them. Let's start with this one here. This one is from Denver and you can see that they get very worn if they get used. And these nickels are very hard to get in a high quality. There are less than a hundred of these coins that have a full steps version on the back. And so when you're looking for these, the chance of you finding or even seeing any steps on the used ones is very low. At the Denver Mint, they made 74.5 million. In fact, Denver made about 10 times as many as Philadelphia in 1955. You see on the back it says E Pluribus Unum at the top, United States of America at the bottom, five cents here, and then Monticello here, and way over onto the side we have a D. On these coins, you always magnify it way, way up if you have a D because there is a D over S variety where they put some Denver mint marks on top of the San Francisco mint mark. How that happened is kind of a mystery, but what probably happened was in 1954, the last of the San Francisco general circulation nickels were made. So they sent the, all the nickels from San Francisco over to Denver and some of them must have, have already been stamped on the back and they just stamped the Denver Mint over the top of them. If you want to see a really good copy of the D over S Mint mark, you can go to the PCGS website and you see that this is the 1955 D over S 5 cent. And it's not going to be a full steps, but if you go right up here in the corner and click on this, you'll see that you can see the D over the S very clearly there. And there's no mistaking that once you magnify it, that there's something underneath there. You may not be able to tell it's an S, but you can certainly tell that it's a D over something. And these are the ones that are worth four to five hundred dollars. For a regular Denver Mint coin, the auction record is nine thousand seven hundred dollars from 2019. From Mint State 65, three thousand one hundred and fifty dollars with the full steps and from Mint State 66, $10,000 if you can get a full steps version of this in a Mint State 66. But the Philadelphia Mint, and you can tell it's Philadelphia because it does not have a mint mark on the back. In 1955, they made 8 million of these. The auction record is $12,650. At a Mint State 65, $550 for a full steps version of this. They've only found 60. In a Mint State 67, $1,150 for Full Steps Philadelphia from 1955. They also made the proof version. And the proof versions are not highly expensive in this shape. So this is not a cameo or a deep cameo. You see it's incredibly shiny. So this coin may be worth $10 or under, even though it's in really nice condition. And when you look at the proof coins, you expect them to have the full steps, and of course this one does. Can you tell the difference between a, a Philadelphia proof coin and a Philadelphia regular circulating coin? Yes, even in an incredibly fine condition for the regular circulating, it'll never have this shine on it. For a cameo version of this, at a 65, $25. For a proof 68, $120. And at a proof 69 cameo, this coin is worth $1,000. However, if you get it up to a deep cameo, of which they found over 60, at a proof 65, it's 85, proof 68, 500, and a proof 69 deep cameo, they found five of these, and those are worth $3,600. If you do get the proof coin, you need to look very closely at the reverse, because there are some double die and triple die reverses on this coin. Now let's take a look at some of those high value coins from the PCGS website. This is the 1955 triple reverse error or triple die reverse error from the PCGS website. And you can see that it's labeled as a TDR full steps, as a proof 
68 just an incredibly good condition coin the problem that i have uh, with some of these is i honestly can't see much of the triple die on there and so when we look through it i can see a little bit in the o there right in the center if we put the cursor on there i can see maybe a little bit in the a there where it kind of flips off but these are really hard to judge and really hard to figure out if you've got one. It's probably going to have to be graded by PCGS. And I should also say that because they come in so many different versions of the triple die, uh, there are hundreds of them out there, and I would never buy one without it being certified by PCGS. All right, well, that's all we have today from DC Coin World International Coin Channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you have in the comment section.